everyone and welcome back it's your girl marquita with marquita lb luxury on today i am going to do a q and a session this has been long overdue because the questions keep piling up in my email and my dm so i said let me get a video up just to clear the air on some of these questions and hopefully it helps you guys out in making certain decisions before we get started make sure you view my past videos like share subscribe tell a friend how much fun we have over here don't forget to visit your girl on Instagram at Marquita LV Luxury. You can also email me, Marquita LV Luxury at gmail.com. If there is a specific bag you would love for me to review, as long as I have it in my collection, I will be sure to try to get that video up for you. Now that we got all of that out the way, you guys know exactly what to do. Go grab some wine and some tea and a light snack. Hurry back so we can get started. Before we get started with the Q&A session, I am going to go ahead and let you guys know that I did purchase this hoodie, hooded flannel shirt, um, or you can say cover. Some of you guys like to wrap around your waist. I do. I have a yellow one, I have a green one, and a red one. They all were purchased from Walmart. They were $11.99. You have to catch these when, um, when fall season is approaching. You know, Walmart always put out their things early. And so I purchased this in October. It was $11.99. Yes, I love Walmart fall collection and Target as well. Just easy throw-ons. You can wear black on black, throw this on, button up, or have it open with a pair of Yeezys and you're out the door. So this is from Walmart. I'm not sure if they still have it. Just giving y'all the tea. Okay, so the first Q&A. This was kind of hard for me. Which one do I love the most out of the LV Passy and the small Lulu bag from YSL? As you guys can see, there are some similarities. The size. The strap, the chain straps, they both can be worn as crossbodies. They both can be worn as shoulder bags, and they both can be worn as totes. This was so hard, but guys, I am just getting into this YSL vibe now. I haven't allowed myself to just venture out and just and actually just see. You know, I have worn it. Like I said, I worn it with my boots. It was a cute look, but as of right now, this canvas. And LV, like I said, still has my heart, and I am in love with the LV Passy bag. I'm going to show you the inside for both. I can see how you guys say they are similar because they are in some ways, but it still has my heart, guys. As you can see, both are magnetic closures. LV sign is here at the front. YSL the same. Opening them up, the Passy. Let me put one down. The Passy has the smaller compartment here and the larger here and also have a back area with a mid zipper closure. Then you have the YSL. It doesn't have the small um, compartment here at the front like the Passy does, but it does, let me take this out. I try to keep these bags stuff to keep their shape. But it does have a compartment here and also a compartment here as well. So they both have two compartments. Well, actually, the Passy has three. It has one right here, one here in the middle, and then one here in the bag. The only thing the YSL is missing is the front area. And they both have the mid zipper compartment. So I can see how some of you guys say they are similar. They do have similarities. But as of right now, like I said, I'm still getting used to YSL. I would say Passy still. Passy, Passy is my favorite. And a lot of you do not care for the Passy and I don't understand. But as stated, she has my heart. So to answer your question, guys, YSL right now still isn't over my love for LV. But... Both bags, I absolutely love, but the Passy right now is still my favorite. Okay, let's move on to the next question. The next question, are there certain bags you will recommend people new to LV should buy first? 
in my eyes, I wouldn't say buy first. I would say buy what you love, buy what you want. If you have been saving up to purchase an LV bag, buy what you want first. My first purchase was a Neverfull. I used to see Neverfulls everywhere. And for business, for travel, I wanted a Neverfull so bad. So I purchased a Neverfull, which was my first LV bag years ago. I would say go with what you can afford and go with what you want. Some people start off with just purchasing a mini pochette. Like I said, it's totally up to you. If you've been eyeing a bag and you want it, save up for it and purchase. So I wouldn't put a certain limit, a certain amount. It's just what you want. What I recommend might not be what you like. A lot of people don't like Never Fools. So I wouldn't recommend a certain style from LV, I will recommend you get what you want, get what you love. If you see, like I said, if you see something that you have been waiting for, save up for it, then you purchase. No matter how cheap, no matter how expensive, it's what you like. So I never recommend because my recommendation might not be what you like. Okay, so the next question, how many siblings do you have and where do you fall in line? I have five brothers, I have five sisters. I am the baby of 11. <laughs> yes, same mom, same dad. I know how you guys think and what you guys will ask. But yes, I am the baby of 11. I am the youngest. I am 38 before you guys even ask that as well. So yes, five brothers, five sisters, and I'm the baby of 11, okay? So the next question, how do you balance spending on yourself and investing in the future? Okay, <laughs> let me tell you, when I first get paid, 10% goes to ties. I don't touch this money. The ties is for others. I have it strictly to help others. I don't help myself. Even if it's in time of emergency, that the ties money is not for me. It goes to helping someone else, someone that's homeless. I mean, I can be driving down the street, walking somewhere. If someone, if I see a homeless person, I'm always, I'm always going to give. That's just a part of me. I'm going to give. If someone needs help starting their business, they need a little push, and I really, really believe in it, and I'm behind them 100%, I'm going to invest in help. And it comes from the, the ties, okay? I pay myself 20% of my earnings. I pay myself 20%. 10% I take and put into my savings. I don't touch it at all. That's my emergency bank account. So that 10% is just there. Never touch it, just let it build. The other 10%, if I want to go and invest in properties, land, franchise, um, another business, I do that. Or if I, hey, I just want to go and shop and buy a bag. That's what I do. I just make sure my bills are paid, my kids are taken care of, everything in my house, everything is, is okay before I do any type of splurging, shopping on myself, okay? So that's already there is 30%. 70%, I let sit. I make sure I have money in there for taxes. I just make sure everything in my business is straight. And just in case I want to flip any of that 70% into another business, it is there. So you have to make sure that you have everything separated. I have 11 different bank accounts and I make sure all bank accounts have money in them, okay? I have a bank account for emergencies. Um, I try not to use credit cards because um, I, I hate debt. I hate debt. I try not to use credit cards as much. I try to self-finance everything, but... Um, I just keep everything separate. I write down, like I said, I'm actually creating a business journal that is gonna launch in February. And when I say I write down everything, I write everything down. So you gotta have everything separated, your business and your personal life. Okay, the next question. How many different businesses do you have? I have four. I have four different businesses that I have as of right now that I'm operating. Um, how are you able to wear all the bags in your collection? I have 20 and it's hard for me to juggle. Okay, yes, I have over 150 bags. Some of them have I've never worn. At that time, I purchased for a reason. 
no regrets at all at that time i purchased for a reason and hey whenever i do decide it's here in my closet no i do not wear every bag some of these bags have been sitting still tag still on it for three years but at that time i wanted that bag i had an outfit in mind bought the bag got home and hey i switched up outfits and the bag is still here so no i have not worn all my bags um, I wear what I want to wear. I'm I'm not hard on myself like that. Just because I have 150 bags, I'm not upset with myself for purchasing 150 bags because at that time I purchased because that's what I wanted to do. So it's no regrets. If I can't get to the bag, I just can't get to the bag. That's just how it is. <laughs> would you sell any of your LV handbags? Yes, I would. I have a few, like I said, I just really have to just try to find time to put these bags to the side make sure i inspect them because you know if i sell anything it's going to be in top notch condition so i just want to make sure that when i do sell there is no issues with the bag because some of the bags like i said have been sitting they are new um but yes i do have some some lv bags that i i will um that i would possibly sell it's just like i said right now i haven't went through everything everything is still in my shell on my shelves i just haven't had the time to pull these bags down and hey and just put them out there and let you guys buy so when i do i most definitely will post but i do have some lv bags some never fools and also um a few no abbs that i will um get rid of and like i said haven't been worn okay next question Am I going to purchase the new Nano Speedy that's coming out in Monogram? Um, I want to. As you guys know, I do have one. I do have the first edition that was launched. I did cut the strap off because I, I just felt that strap just wasn't adjustable and it was just too short. You know, I have to be creative with my bags. I don't like being boxed in and I don't like being just stuck to a, a strap. So I did make the cut. I do have a YouTube video on it. And yes, I cut the strap off the Nano Speedy. So what? I'm still alive and I love my bag. The bag that is coming out, I wanted to purchase um, for my daughter. But it's no big deal. If I get it, I get it. If I don't, I don't. So whenever my CA lets me know, hey, it's pre-order time or if you want it, I'm going to get it. No stress at all. My daughter can use mine. I don't use mine every day. I can go months without using my nano um, speedy. So like I said, in 2022, we are spending smart. We are spending smart. So um, like I said, I have it in my collection. If it had an extended zipper or something different, hey, I will be for it. I think it has the adjustable strap. That's the only difference. You know, I have a lot of adjustable straps in my collection no biggie but if you guys don't have it i think this is a chance for you guys to go and get it do not let this slide by do not so if pre-orders open jump on it because a lot of people are looking for the nano speedy because they didn't purchase the first time and guys it's gonna go it's gonna go very very cute small crossbody bag okay Will I be purchasing any more Fendi anytime soon? Yes, I do love Fendi. I love Fendi. The sunshine bags, those big totes are everything. I love, love Fendi. I do. Um, I just feel like they hold so much. The quality is amazing. And I just love wearing them with dresses, with heels. That's another boss bag, guys. I love, I just think big, well-structured bags are boss bags. I do. I just feel so good when I put them on. And so the Fendi Sunshine bag is one of those bags. And let me get her out for a few of you guys that don't know that I have this bag. And like I said, I love being in my closet because I can just reach for whatever I want. But here she is. And you guys know I love, love, love this cream color. This is, you know, my fall colors, guys. And I love the handle. And of course, the gold hardware. There's a strap. I do not wear it as a crossbody. I just put this strap on just to add to the bag because I don't wear it over the shoulder at all. I love carrying as a tote. And so, yes, I most definitely will be purchasing more Fendi again. And as you guys saw on my TikTok video, um, I had a Fendi bag. So, yes, 
Fendi most definitely is is one of my one of my lovely 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 luxury handbags um at the top but yeah i can see myself purchasing more fendi okay right after that can i see myself purchasing any more dior bags yes i can but i will purchase fendi before dior i would i will purchase fendi before dior i don't know i just I love Dior. I had like my little phase. You guys know because I did an unboxing. I, I purchased these things in Las Vegas for my birthday. So I had like a little phase with Dior, but I love ready to wear. The Dior ready to wear over any brand, over LB, Fendi, ready to wear from Dior is the best. So I will rather purchase the ready to wear than the handbags. Fendi, I'll rather purchase the Fendi handbags than the ready to wear what is your dream bag my dream bag is the triangle softy the reverse monogram triangle softy that's here i missed out on this bag in 2019 at this time i think i was into other luxury brands i wasn't into i was into lv you know i had an essay but i just wasn't into it like that i think i was more dealing with my business um rather than purchasing handbags at that time but this is what I missed out on. When it was actually, when I actually noticed this bag and wanted to purchase, it was gone. They said they only made 500. Only 500. So this was a very, very exclusive and hard to get bag. So I didn't get it. But this is most definitely my dream bag. This is on my wish list. And so I know I would have to get this pre-owned. But if I get it pre-owned, it has to be in like a 10 condition. A 10 condition. Because I know they're going to go up on the price. And I am not going to pay for something that is not in excellent condition. Period. No corners rub. I mean, everything. That canvas has to be top notch. But this is a beautiful, beautiful bag. So this is my dream bag. And it's on my wish list. Um... If I ever get it, you guys know I'm going to be jumping up and down. I'm going to do an unboxing and I am most definitely going to share. Okay. Thoughts on the Lou camera bag. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I think all of the camera bags from all of the luxury, um, from all of the luxury handbag brands are, are cute. They're, they're cute crossbodies. I would not carry it over, a sh over the shoulder, but I think all of them. Gucci has it. Um, YSL all of them these camera bags are very very cute to me so if you do have the option to purchase go and purchase but i have a ton of crossbody so that bag isn't for me but you ask how does it look and i think it looks so so adorable and as a crossbody so if you feel like if you even if you're thinking about it go and get it you can always return long as you order online again if you order if you make a purchase in ysl store you cannot return for a refund, only in exchange. So if you go in the store, what you can do is try the bag on, try the bag on. And at that time, if you are not ready to order or if you don't feel comfortable with the policy, order online to where, hey, if you do have your buyer's remorse or if you purchase the bag and you're just not feeling it, you can return and, you, and you'll be okay. Because a lot of people do not, <laughs> they don't like the YSL policy, but to me, business is business. They let you know before you purchase and it's your choice. Never pull or speedy bandolier 25. That is so hard for me because like I said, I am a never full person, but as time, as, as I get older, I am starting to fall in love with the speedies so much. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I'm just really, really starting to fall in love with the Speedies. So just like I have a collection of 12 Neverfulls, my Speedy collection is growing. I think at this time, I have 10 Speedies. No, I have 14 Neverfulls. Yeah, I have 14 Neverfulls and I have 10 Speedies. So the Speedy collection is steady growing. At this moment, I cannot tell you a favorite. I cannot tell you the, a favorite between the Neverfull and the Speedy. A couple of years ago, even last year, I would say never full, MM. As of today, I cannot make that decision. I I love the speedy. I'm even loving how it looks as a crossbody. Now that um 
I have the sweat the baseboards. I created baseboards with swag my bag accessories. When I put the baseboard in my speedy, it gives it a totally different look. I can honestly carry, I can carry it as a crossbody. That's something I never, I never thought I would carry a speedy as a crossbody. But with the baseboard, you guys have to try it. It looks amazing. So to answer your question, I can't answer your question because I love both. Um, it depends on what you want to purchase. I think you need to actually go in store and try both of them on. You know a Neverfull cannot be carried as a crossbody. That is a tote and a shoulder bag. The Speedy has an adjustable strap. You can take the strap off. It can be a tote, crossbody, a shoulder bag. You can carry the Speedy plenty of different ways. So I'm not trying to tell you to go and purchase the Speedy over a Neverfull, but go in the store, try it out, and see how you like it. How many social media channels are you on and do you do it for business? Yes. I do. I do. I'm just now getting into this TikTok thing. Um, just trying to learn from my kids. But guys, if you have a business and you're not on social media, I mean, I would say 70% of your sales are social media at this time is everything. When you wake up in the morning, the first thing people do is grab their phone. They grab their phone. They're checking their social media, they're checking their Facebook, they're checking Instagram, TikTok. This is the first thing people grab. So your business needs to be the first thing people see. It needs to be the first thing people see. So yes, yeah, social media is very, very important in business. And I'm there. I am going to be there. I am going to show up. So when you see me doing reels, when you see me expanding, trying to get on TikTok, and like I said, TikTok, I'm just now getting into. But Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, you need to be a part of all of these social media channels, even Pinterest, if you have a business. Exposure, exposure, exposure. Good exposure is still exposure. Bad exposure is still exposure. Your business is still being seen. We will always want good exposure, but I'm just letting you guys know that you need to be on social media if you do have a business. And you also need to have a website. You should never send people to a DM. That is going to be hard to keep track of. They should not be paying you through Cash App. It needs to be a website to where they are paying you through Stripe. They can be paying you through PayPal, but it does not need to be Cash App, okay? But if you are doing that, hey, everyone has to start somewhere. I just applaud you for starting your business. How did I build up the confidence to start a YouTube channel? It was something I wanted to do. When I tell you guys, I did not get on YouTube. Let me move this bag. I did not get on YouTube for money when I first got on here. I did not get on here for money. I told you guys, I was going around looking for reviews on specific bags before I purchased. And I couldn't find the detailed videos that I wanted. And I know that it was other people that felt like me out there. And so I was like, you know what? I'm going to go on here and review these bags and I'm going to review these SLGs because I know someone else is looking for that detail. How many cards does it, does it hold? How is the stitching? The color? If it's gold hardware? If it's silver hardware? How much fits in? Hey, is a zipper long? Is a zipper short? Is it a card holder? All of that stuff I wanted to know. <laughs> Sometimes we don't have the luxury of going or the time to go to these boutiques to try these bags. Some of us just order online. And so that's what I did. I got on YouTube, started doing reviewing, and in three weeks, guys, three weeks, my YouTube channel was monetized. So that lets you know people were waiting for that. People were waiting for the details on these bags. So I would tell you guys, go and do it. If it's something that you want to do, I mean, make sure you stay in topic. If it's something that you want to do, if you want to do luxury handbags, a lot of you say, hey, I only have 20 handbags in my collection. It's not enough. Oh, that's more than enough. Someone already spoke on what fits in a never full. Yeah, they spoke on it. But you might bring up something totally different. It's a hundred, I mean, a hundred million people that's doing a what fits in my bag. All of us is doing it different. I might find some, you might find something that I'm saying that's different than another YouTuber. 
I might be more detailed or that other YouTuber might be more detailed, but every channel is different. So have tunnel vision. Don't worry about what anyone else is doing. It is a hundred bread companies on the same aisle. It is a hundred ice cream company brands on the same aisle. They are not worrying about anyone else. Okay, so just keep that in mind. It's a million boutiques on Instagram. Everyone sell different. Everyone, I mean, have a different presentation. So stop worrying about other people. Use your phone, get on there and speak and talk about what you love. And other people are going to fall in love first with you. Then they're going to fall in love with what you talk about. Just try to be as detailed as possible, okay? So we have one more question. And the last question, <laughs> am I going to start a YouTube business channel? And the question is yes, guys. I am actually working on it now. Hopefully I have it by this Friday. If not this Friday, the next Friday, I am actually clearing out a space. And I, I'm going to do it because so many of you guys, you, you're, you're ready. You want to boss up, but you just need that extra push. You need that extra push. Something that I didn't have. I went looking for answers. And since I couldn't find the answers, I just went and I just, hey, I did it. Either I failed or I made it. And a lot of times, guys, I failed. You're going to fail in some things. So just be okay with that. It's your mindset. Get your mindset together. Every day isn't, isn't going to be a good day. Sometimes I cry in the shower. Sometimes I'm stressed. I, sometimes I just have an attitude because I'm like, oh my God, this is so much. This is so much. The emails, the calls. I mean, going here, going there. Guys, it's a part of it. But you have to be strong. Your mindset, and you have to manifest. Hey, I can do it. Trust the process. I talk to myself all the time. I talk to myself more than I talk to other people. Hey, you might think it's crazy, but hey, it helps me. I mean, even before I do my YouTube channels, hey, just breathe. And then I start because guys, it's not an audience that I'm talking to. I'm basically talking to a camera and some people <laughs> feel like they can't do that. It's basically like you're talking to yourself, but you have to, you have to change your mindset. So yes, I am going to start a YouTube business channel. I think, um, me starting it will help, help, will help you guys. Because like I said, I didn't have some of these, um, uh, some of the questions that I had at the beginning of my business, I never got answered. You know, I was totally just thrown out there to find out by myself. And so if I can tell you some things and can help some of you guys out before you make certain mistakes, I want to do that. You know, I want to do that. So just give me some time. Like I said, I'm trying to get like my little space together and I am going to go over a few topics. So it might be just a channel for business, my life. And like I said, how I'm juggling this thing. And like I say, it's not easy, but the thing is pray and start. Pray and start. I hear so many of you guys, okay, I'm going to start. I'm going to start this day. I'm going to start this day. Why not start now? Why not start now? Because some of you, oh, I'm going to start January 2022. Okay, so like we're like nine days in. Have you started? <laughs> so guys just pick up that pen and paper jot down those ideas if you want to get on youtube you most definitely can do it if you want to start that boutique you most definitely can do it i had a boutique i'm thinking about opening my boutique back because i love fashion i love to bring my fashion ideas i just love fashion hey i have a waist shaper company guys i'm doing it i have my own line of capsules diet pills detox tea Guys, I'm juggling all of it. YouTube has become a business. I do mentor, mentorship. So if I'm juggling guys with three kids, you guys can do the same as well. So like I said, I am here. I am for my women. I push so hard for you guys because I want all of us to win, okay? So guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I want to get these questions out of the way because they are most definitely flooding my DMs and they are flooding my emails. So I would, I'm thinking about every video, trying to get some of these questions and answers out to you guys, um, because you guys really want to know, and I really want to be here to help as well. 
um like i said thank you guys so so much for tuning in thank you guys for loving me thank you guys for accepting me and on here guys i can't do nothing but keep it real this is me every day all day it's nothing special that i'm doing any different from anyone else um just being me just be you that's just that's that's how i'm growing i'm just being me so thank you guys like i said for tuning in stay safe stay blessed and as always bye bye